Hello and welcome to this week's Patreon bonus episode with Mr. Chris Georginis. Chris, welcome to the bonus episode. Hey, thanks for having me. Yeah, man. Uh, you're a cool guy. I think you've got you do a lot of really neat stuff. Uh, Thank you. So again, thanks for being here. But but the thing we're talking about here is uh, things you can't prepare for, <laughs> like uh, freak, like like acts of nature kind of things. Uh, go ahead and just jump in. What what are we talking about here? All right. So this one was very unique in the sense that it was just a typical bar gig that we used to play a lot on the Cape. It was September, mid September ish, sort of post summer season. Um, and we're playing. We had a pretty good crowd going. But, you know, again, it's not the you know the heat of summer or anything like that. So it wasn't like fully packed like it usually gets. And then about two miles down the road is this big resort and where they have lots of weddings. And what happens is after a wedding, the wedding crowd decides that, hey, we still want to party. But they end up coming to this place called the Woodshed in, in Brewster, Massachusetts. So it's out on Cape Cod. And all of a sudden you look up and there's all these beautiful people in tuxedos and a, a bride and, and all, you know, it's just. Oh, boom all of a sudden it's like instant party okay yeah i always had a gopro going and after the show the guitarist now we're all set up sort of in a in a it's a small bar and we're all set up like in a against the wall this on the stage but against a wall so it's not like sure. typical bandmates in front of me type of thing we're all just here and the crowd is right up against you and which is i love gigs like that anyway long story short the guitarist says to me i had a hard time playing tonight because it was a guy that was part of that wedding party right next to me on the other side of the guitarist from me who was clapping a lot and he w had no sense of rhythm. <laughs> and we're playing, you know, like Snow by, you know, Red Hot Chili Peppers where it's a difficult guitar riff and there's, you know, it's, they have like a, a, a metronome completely off time in your ear off to the side was difficult. And yeah. so I just said, I didn't, you know, I, I had no idea. He's like, how could you not have heard him? I'm like, I just, because we're really loud. I don't know. I never You're noticed playing. Him. Yeah. So he says, check the video, you know, tomorrow or whenever. <laughs> I think it was like three days later, I finally load up the video and I'm looking at the footage and I'm realizing, oh my God, he didn't oversell this at all. This guy was oh, really, boy. really bad. And I realized I had to do, I had to <laughs> launch Premiere Pro start taking the footage and I edited it down to about two minutes of his highlights, right? But I'm watching it back and it's not funny enough yet because we're really loud and you can't really hear him. And the, the GoPro captured a lot of the night. So I started zooming in on him and that wasn't <laughs> enough. So then my animation <laughs> skills came into play and I had animated like sonic waves coming off of his hands as he <laughs> as he clapped awesome. right so that yeah. visually focused in the hands and then it still wasn't funny enough i'm like what is it what is it and because every time he clapped again you couldn't hear him because the band drowned him out so then i just captured my own clap and so now level wise okay. the band is here and his clap is up here <laughs> So now you not only hear him louder than anything else in the room, you see the sonic waves coming off. And I just <laughs> focused in on this thing. And it's two minutes of him completely off time, varying <laughs> BPMs oh my God. all over the map. And he's just doesn't care. And it's funny. Wow. I think I brought my son yeah. in and I said, hey, Bobby, check this out. Just let me know if it's even remotely funny. Within 10 seconds, he's like, dad, you got to post that stuff right now. <laughs> So I did, right? I'd I put love it on, to see that. Man. I, I'll show it to you. All you have to do is go to yeah. YouTube and go and search on YouTube for No Rhythm Dude. Because I posted it, and like two or three days later, I think I was away for the weekend, like on a like guy's golf trip or something. My guitarist calls me. He's like, dude, have you checked the video? I'm like, why? What's going on? He's like, it's it's going viral. We're getting, usually we'll get oh like, God. Uh, we'll get 881,000 views. <laughs> exactly oh, most of our geez. videos had like 200 views or 16 views or something <laughs> right and i'm looking and every time wow. i refreshed it jumped up another 500 views and i'm like oh my god he says a viral video company contacted him and says we want to license it right now we'll pay you 500 bucks we want it it's hot we got to jump on this you know and i said do it who cares it's a just but then i panicked because i realized oh wait a minute we don't know this guy i could be you know attacked for like blamed for cyber bullying somebody because yeah. who knows it's embarrassing. It, could, it could be we're embarrassing him maybe even he's you know autistic or spectrum exactly. or who knows and it's so yep. i realized all right wait a minute before we sign anything we got to make sure 
we we either have to take this down or get approval from from him. So somehow we were able to yeah. locate the bride and groom through like email. I don't know how we did this. Thanks to the internet, we were able to figure it out. I think maybe because we knew they came from this big resort called Ocean Edge and it was a wedding. We sure. got the name, Google, Facebook, email, boom. And I sent them, I sent her an email saying, hey, look, <laughs> we're really sorry. But if you go to this YouTube URL, here's somebody you know because he's with your party and it's going viral. And if we'll, if you want us to take it down, we will. And I don't know, I think the next day, she responded and the reply was this was the greatest wedding present i could have ever asked for <laughs> that's hysterical she's oh like that's my god my, he's my cousin and he's seen it and he's fine with it and so we're like okay oh. boom five hundred dollars and it yeah we got it it's like just under nine hundred thousand views it had it hasn't reached a million but man oh my god the comments are hilarious i don't know it, a lot of people thought it was fake you know of course um that, but again, that looks i mean from looking at it, it's that's it's hard to fake that kind of his yeah. look of just and like, he did it all night I mean, the, no one no one fakes that all night <laughs> maybe for half a song but no one fakes it all night right uh so the, and i again, love how your guitarist is just he's right next to him he's standing yeah, exactly it's just like, yeah it, exactly so that was extremely unexpected like how who like what kind of like local cover band gets almost a million views on youtube for whatever reason not for your music not for playing a cover of a, a chili pepper song or whatever you know what i mean so that was very wow. unexpected it's kind of like now it, it taught me the lesson that if you want to see something go sort of viral you can never set out to make it viral it just it's always going to be an un unexpected handheld uh kind of uh, spur of the moment spontaneous shot yeah my friend jerome yeah. dupree who used to play with morphine i was at his studio one day he had this crazy contraption where he had uh, a, like a timbali drum with no bottom head and he kind of he kind of combined that with a hi-hat drilled a hole through the center of the head and put the clutch through that and he was manipulating the the tension of the head with the with the pedal and altering its pitch and i just quickly grabbed my phone and took i don't know 30 second video and that, that got yeah. tens of thousands of views on instagram and I'm like, I feel like I uh, saw he, that. That's one of those just like every drummer. Yeah. There's a videos that go around where like, I mean, I'm on there a lot from being on social media, but it's like, yeah, you just see these things and it becomes yeah. like just a part of it. And I think it's because sometimes if if there's a video that's overproduced and it looks really well edited and it's been color graded, you, I, it doesn't it loses its um, it loses something. Right. It's yeah. uh, it's not as. Um, yeah. I don't know. It doesn't feel it just feels processed. So I think that's yeah. one, one of the other things I've learned is that if you can just capture something in the moment and it's haphazard and it's in the and the viewer feels like, oh, I'm seeing this for the first time, too, like everyone else, then it means more. It gets more views. But that's what, one thing I've learned. It's not always about how great yeah. you performed. You know, it's like it's the guy who can't clap next to you. He's the one that gets all the attention. Yeah. <laughs> well, what you're saying really goes back to the animation styles of like home movies and like Dr. Katz, where it's very, you know, paralleled to like the Simpsons and things like that at the time it was like which I absolutely die hard lifelong Simpsons fan but it's yep, it's same. very um it's just the opposite it's squiggly it looks not quite as polished and uh that's what I loved about it so and that was sort of the, yeah. the mentality behind those those TV shows and the animation style Dr. Katz especially where they said you know we don't want it we don't want it, uh professional animators animating this because we don't want to distract from the conversations that were being had which were mostly improvised it was the first time you see in a cartoon where uh the actors stumble over their words or or talk over each other as opposed it didn't feel scripted because it really wasn't they had a very general outline of the story but put them in the studio mm -hmm. you capture three hours of audio and edit it down to 22 minutes you know that kind of thing so it it that was Which really difficult that was the allure that was what made those yeah. shows you know really great storytelling yeah hmm. awesome man this was uh i'm gonna incorporate that video and stuff so people can see it and uh cool. <laughs> and, and I'll, maybe we'll I'll get over a million together. now <laughs> yes exactly um chris this is awesome man i appreciate you being here and and thanks to, again to everyone uh who's listening to this because it means you're supporting the show on patreon which really helps pay for uh things like the program we're using to record this right now and my my adobe subscription which i use nice. to edit it so um <laughs> chris thanks for being here man awesome to meet you uh i'm sure we'll do some stuff in the future as well Likewise, Bart. Thank you for having me. This is fun.